One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah. This area I heard he was drinking the river once. The ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get fresh water soon, we'll all end Hello, up. Hello, Private Jones. Sir, yes, sir. Private Jones reporting. At ease, Private. I'm here to inspect the armory. Uh, so what's your story, Slag Heap? Sir, this Slag Heap is guarding the armory, sir. Like her. That's great. Danvers. Where the heck are you? Danvers. Yes, that was bad. It was so I'm sure noisy there was something last about night. it. Could hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix has something that will help us. One of the new immigrants Cindy died of radiation poisoning last week. Denver's. We don't get fresh water soon. Maybe a quick fix we'll has something that like will help you sleep. Another glorious day in this man's army. I'll try. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Nope. I haven't seen anything. Oh, Harkness is out. That means Danvers is. Yeah, fine. Let's wait. I think Harkness is the daytime security person up and about, and Danvers is the night shift one, so we gotta wait till daytime for her to be here somewhere. I believe. I think she's also going to be up here. She better be. There she is, maybe. Commander Danvers, that's who we need to talk to. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, Assistant Chief of Security. That's great. So you report to Chief Harkness. So, whoa, I just wanted to ask you something. Let's do that. Yeah, well, I don't have time for newbies like you. You got something on your mind? Spill it. Quit being the bling bling. <laughs> uh, Bannon is trying to blackmail Seagrave Holmes. That's pretty underhanded. Even for Bannon. Once word gets out, I bet the market vendors won't want him to represent them anymore. Thank you for your help, citizen. You're welcome. Now are you going to stop being a ding-ding? Uh... What can you tell me about history? Sorry, but I don't really know much about it. More worried about what's going wrong with the here and now, see? Fine, bye-bye. Duty calls. TV calls and you'll go right back to sleep. <laughs> Stupid retarded lady. Anyway, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Yeah, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Alright, so we've done our duty there. Let's get back to the marketplace. It should be open again now. Did I take the wrong door? Yes, I did. I'm gonna go out here. Morning. Wait, was Diego one of those people? Yes? Yep. Have you seen Angela? I need to ask her something about our wedding. Oh, never mind. I just remembered. Sorry, I'm so scatterbrained these days. What was it you wanted again? Apparently the ant pheromones worked, because now they're getting married. Uh, there's a church in Rivet City? Oh yes, Father Clifford conducts services every Sunday morning. You should come. I'd like to make a donation to the church. Father Clifford takes the donations. You'll have to talk to him. You're the acolyte who's the priest. Father Clifford, the sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. 
When are you and Angela getting married? Tomorrow at three. You can come if you like. We've invited everyone in Rivet City. That's great. How are things between you and Angela? I... I don't know what came over me. I just lost control and seduced her. But I am an honorable man. I will make her an honorable woman. We're going to get married. I thought I would be more upset about leaving the church. But she makes me so happy. That's great. Can I ask you about the history? I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out. But I don't really know for sure. Bye. God bless you. We'll go watch the wedding here too in a little bit. Hello. Hi, whoever you are. Hello. Speaking of that, we might as well go to the church and talk to Father Clifford, make a donation, get some karma boost. And sit around and wait for the wedding while we're at it. Everything looks okay here. That's Bannon's door. Young's. Where's the church? It doesn't even say name. It's Flack and Shrapnels. That's the Weatherly Hotel. Oh, that's the marketplace. Let's go there. Talk to Seagrave. Talk to Bannon. Tell him. <laughs> find out how ticked off he is at us. We are getting quite a bit done. We're not getting the quest done Don't that I wanted. Don't you have a component to deliver? With the android and with the history, but we're getting, we're getting quite a bit done either. Anyway, uh, let's I'll talk be to right her. with you. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Did the Ann Pheromone work? Oh my god, it was so romantic. Diego has left the church. We're going to get married. That's great. Glad you're happy. Gotta go. Bye. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Mm -hmm. Gary, what do you have to say about your daughter anywhere. getting Someone married? Will be with you ah, I knew you wouldn't be able to stay away. Uh -huh. Is Angela still mooning over Diego? Mooning over him? Not anymore. She's gonna marry him. I am so happy for my little girl. That's great. Bye. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Hi. What do you want? So where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? Jeez. I don't think you should be speaking that way, kitty. Well, whatever. Seagrave. Welcome to... Hey, I heard that Bannon got caught trying to frame me. I also heard you ratted him out. I think you've earned a true blue friendship discount. Yay. What do you have to sell? Anything. Still nothing I really need. How handy. Bye. See you. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. You told Danvers that I was trying to blackmail Seagrave. Yep. Thanks to you, they've suspended council meeting and are probably going to censure me. Yep. I can't ban you from my shop, but they can't tell me what to charge. I'm here to do business. And we're back. Hi again. Sorry about that. I realize we're no longer in the marketplace and we're not talking to Bannon, obviously, but that's because my game froze and died a tremendously horrible death. And because it was an unexpected thing, it, uh, it, uh, was not very happy. We had made our way to, uh, here to the church. This is the church we've been wanting to find. And uh, here's Father Clifford, the guy we've been wanting to Saint talk to. Monica bless you. And um, yeah, I've been recording just fine. The game was going just fine. Then all of a sudden it died. And not only did it die, it killed my computer. So it ruined footage from between talking with Bannon about being ticked off that we uh, backstabbed him 
and getting here to the church. Fortunately, all we did was get here to the church, so you didn't really miss anything. But in case you're wondering, the church here is on the main level, midship deck, uh, along with the science lab and the museum and all the other main places. So, yeah, we made our way to the church. So let's talk to Father Clifford about donations and stuff. Hopefully this goes better and my game doesn't die. I am Father Clifford. This is St. Monica's Church. Who's St. Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Ribbit City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. We might. That'll be interesting. I've never been to the ch actual church sermon in this game, so that'd be kind of cool. I'd like to, to make you a donation. Would? I mean, certainly. We humbly accept whatever you can spare. However, St. Monica looks most favorably on donations of 100 caps or more. I bet she does. Let's donate 100 caps. A most generous offer. God bless you. You're a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. Is what I hear about uh, Diego true? You mean that he's left the priesthood? Yes. They are going to get married. Well, at least I get to perform the ceremony. What do you know about Rivet City's history? Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. I need to go, Father Clifford. St. Monica bless you. Mm-hmm. Radio. So, let's go ahead and uh, take a seat over here out of the way. And make a save. And we'll go ahead, and they said that the wedding was tomorrow at 3, so we'll go ahead and wait. Why am I doing that? We'll go ahead and wait and watch the wedding. So it's 1, let's go ahead and wait an hour. Just in case it happens to be today that they decide to have the wedding. Um, we'll wait until it gets to be 3. Actually, no, let's just, it's 2.24 here, so let's... Go ahead and wait 24 hours. That way it'll be 2.24 on the right day. And we can watch the wedding. We'll have to wait a few minutes for it to turn 3. And It also says it's Wednesday. Which means it'll be Thursday. And then we'll wait a couple more days worth of time. And uh, watch their Sunday ser uh, church service. I've never been to it. I've been to the wedding part, but... I've never been to the church service, that should be interesting. Now they see the time is 2.29, so fortunately we don't have to wait a whole half hour, it'll just be a few minutes. See, there's Diego coming in. Other people should start showing up before too long. There's his wife, Angela. You can take a seat anywhere in the church, it doesn't matter. I just got up front here so we'd have a fairly decent view. Most of the main residents of Rivet City will start showing up here too before too long. There's the escaped slave lady we talked to earlier. There's Mr. Young, CJ's dad. We haven't really talked to him, but he's just a maintenance guy. Oh, come on, people. 